to Webisode 6. I'm Lisa Abbott, an organizer with Kentuckians for the Commonwealth. We're a member group of the Rural Power Coalition. This six-part video series was designed to describe why investing in rural utilities and communities is essential for the United States to meet our national climate goals and to help people like you understand how to get connected and take action to support rural power. In the last episode, we looked at a seven part policy platform developed by the Rural Power Coalition for transitioning rural co-ops to clean and equitable power. In this episode, we'll focus on the most significant of these proposals, a call for $100 billion investment through conditional hardship loans that are forgivable for rural utilities that invest in the clean energy future. Eric laid out the seven point platform that we put into a letter and many of many of the folks on this call and the hundred groups around the country signed on to. And then we've spent some time talking about that plank number three. What is that hundred billion dollars? And between the time that y'all signed on to this letter and yesterday, we've been talking with members of Congress like about all seven ideas and specifically this pretty new, interesting, innovative way of retiring coal debt and replacing it with investments in bill relief, clean energy, broadband, all the, all the good stuff. And members of Congress are looking for solutions that can, the president's word is build back better. Uh, they're looking for solutions that can generate jobs, address the climate crisis, address the racial justice crisis, address the economic crisis. And that provision number three of retiring coal debt for good, clean, equitable in local investments is really getting some excitement. And so we received this bill draft yesterday from a member of Congress who's, who's grabbed hold of this idea just literally in the last couple of days. And we're, we're still in negotiations and kicking it around. But I have to say, many of us have been working on these issues for decades. And this feels like a moment, y'all. So I'm really excited to be in the work with you. And we wouldn't be here but for those decades. Now we really got to uh, take, take every advantage of this moment to actually get some policy change to drive the kind of solutions that we've been demanding for a long time. We hope you enjoyed the final episode of a six-part video series produced by the Rural Power Coalition. Please visit ruralpower.us to learn more, get connected, and take action.